Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it's Chili here, the man who bridges iron in my eyes. And this is a 5 minute review on Blaze Bailey's Circle of Stone album. You know it's going to be an interesting few weeks when we have several prominent metal musicians releasing solo albums. First up it's this album, then it's Bruce Dickinson and lastly we have Kerry King. Of course viewers who know of Iron Maiden's history will know the intertwined connection between the first two, but we will get there later. Circle of Stone is the singer's 8th album under his name, or 11th if you include the material that he released under the name of Blaze. And I got to say that my first impressions have been quite favourable in particular for the first half of the album, until at least the part where we got to The Broken Man. Now I wasn't aware of Blaze Bailey's solo career, but I have soon found out that he has quite a few albums to his name. While Bailey's tenor with Iron Maiden was fraught with issues, and the two albums he released with the band are often cited as the worst they have ever done, I feel this is a slight generalisation to people who have only blazed through the album. To me at least, I consider his works as decent misunderstood and overlooked in the band's catalogue, but I can't say all the songs were good either. Definitely a few lead balloons amongst these two albums. He just wasn't the right fit for the band and has stated in a recent interview that after he was fired from the band, he took it hard and couldn't write for a brief time. I mean, how can he be upset with such glorious chops like this? Why does this photo give me Peter Steele cross with meatloaf kind of vibes? given that the few tracks that I have heard for this album, I think he has found his groove as a solo musician. Fun fact, but did you know that he wrote a song called Speed of Light in 2002, which would also be the name of an Iron Maiden song from the Book of Souls album? Anyway, as mentioned before, the very first few songs are wildly energetic, with Mind Reader and Rage really standing out. It isn't until we get to the slow burner in the middle of the album on the Broken Man track, which is a true raise your lighters to the air moment amongst the mix. But the song itself and its pacing are a bit out of pace, especially given the frantically paced tune of Ghost in the Bottle, which is the song before this. Also, it feels like the transition between these two songs just feels a little bit open and could have been a bit more fine-tuned with a bit more editing. After the slow song, we have an intermission brought on by bagpipes and guitars, dueling with the call of ancestors. And while it's not quite ACDC levels of pump up, it does tap more into that Scottish roots than ACDC 2 is their motherland. It's not a bad way to lead into the next track and title track, Circle of Stone, which was released as a single from the album and features guest vocal spot from Wolf's frontman Nicholas Stalvin. And it is a killer tune here. Now, if you are an Iron Maiden fan and have heard Blaze's solo material, then I will say this. The music on offer is nothing like Iron Maiden. Sure, it falls under the heavy metal banner, but it's different in a more simple, maybe, and energetic style. Despite Blaze Bailey suffering a heart attack last year, the musician still puts on a powerful effort in his sections, and it's very impressive, really, how quick of a recovery he has had. Nothing is set in stone, I guess, but it doesn't look like Blaze is showing any signs of slowing down either, with a full tour of Europe lined up to undoubtedly support this album. Overall, I will give this album a score of 8 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Rage, Circle of Stone, and Day of Reckoning. If you're yearning for some of that sweet, classical sounding metal, and willing to look beyond his past transgressions, then I think yeah, you will be pleasantly surprised by what you hear on this record. For an album of 12 tracks that runs in at under 45 minutes, it really never suffers the fate of, you know, listener fatigue or just going on for too long. In the end, it's a perfect runtime for anyone to just power through, and I do recommend listening to this album if you haven't already. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us, and stay notified for future music-related content, because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always, people, you have a great day, and stay spicy.